welcome to Munich, Germany. The Oktoberfest in the Bavarian state capital is famous the world over. So what happens when it's impossible to host in 2020? Due to the coronavirus pandemic, city officials were forced to cancel the Oktoberfest this year. The locals are still celebrating, but on a much smaller scale this year. Over 50 restaurants and taverns in Munich came together this year to plan an alternative to the Oktoberfest. They call it the Wirtshauswiesen or Tavern Wiesen. Visitors can head to individual venues across the city to drink their big beers, to dance, and to eat typical Oktoberfest food, all while observing social distancing and wearing face masks. And many people are still wearing their Dirndl or Lederhosen, and this year, a mask too. But as a big fan of the Oktoberfest myself, I'm wondering if this year can really measure up to the real thing. So let's go check it out. So I'm headed to get an Oktoberfest beer at one of Munich's most famous breweries, the Hofbräuhaus. This year, they will tap their first keg at exactly 12 noon in the brewery, not in the beer tent. As always, the specially brewed Oktoberfest beer is on tap, but I'm wondering if the people here are missing the traditional event. Ganz ohne Wiesen geht einfach nicht. Man muss sich natürlich an alle Maßnahmen ähm, halten und Rücksicht nehmen, aber ich denke, ein bisschen feiern ist wichtig und erlaubt. Es ist schon wehmütig, aber es ist toll, dass es diesen Ersatz gibt und wir so ein bisschen Wiesenfeeling haben hier. Wir wollen eigentlich mit dieser Wirtshauswiesen eigentlich nur an die Wiesen erinnern. Wir wollen die Wiesen als Veranstaltung würdigen. Das hier kann keine Ersatzwiesen sein, soll es auch nicht. So the beer is great as always and the people are super nice, but I must say what I am missing about the regular Oktoberfest is sitting at a big table full of people that you haven't met before. Everyone here had to reserve their tables ahead of time due to the pandemic. So I am missing a little bit of that making friends by the end of the day feeling of the regular Oktoberfest. Next up, I'm headed to Munich's famous Marienplatz to get a taste of my favorite Oktoberfest food at a nearly 150-year-old restaurant called the Ratskala. This is one of the many locations which are trying to keep the spirit and traditions of Oktoberfest alive this year. I order a Schweinshaxe. The oven-roasted pork knuckle is a true Oktoberfest classic. That's really good. This is definitely my favorite Oktoberfest food and it's a little taste of the festival. But I have to say, the setting is really nice and I'm super glad to have this, but I do miss the feeling of being in the tent, surrounded by people and cheersing to Einprosen every hour. But I will take this as an alternative. Maybe I will feel the Oktoberfest spirit a little more if I can find some more people in their Dirndls and Lederhosen. Let's go check it out. I'm happily surprised to see how many people are dressed up this year, even with no Oktoberfest taking place. I'm wondering why is it still important to them? Ich denke, Tracht ist einfach was Bayerisches und wir sind aus Bayern. Warum sollten wir keine Tracht tragen? Und in einem Dirndl bist, bist du als Frau immer angezogen. It's tradition and we like to be part of tradition that we don't have a home. We don't have that in the UK. So things certainly look a little bit different in Munich this year, but I have to say I really admire the people here for being able to carry on their traditions safely. It's been so much fun and I hope that we can revisit the world's most famous beer festival again next year. Servus and bye bye!